Viper here, and today I'm going to go over how I use multiple saves in Miss Survival. The game only offers one save location, so if you want to have more more than one save, you're going to have to do pretty much what I'm doing or something similar. But first thing I got to do is I got to find the, the actual save, the game save, and then I'm just going to go to File Explorer and I'm going to go to uh, my C where I have it loaded in and then I'm gonna go to users and then your name not 3d and then uh, app data the local and miss survival saved and then save games this is the folder I'm looking for it says saved games and then I, I put a shortcut on my desktop there's already one there so I just would drag and drop that into the desktop now if you can't find these folders because they're hidden just go to wherever your last one is and then uh, go over here to view and then go into options change folder and search options and then uh, view and then show hidden files I've already done this at one of my folders so it's already shown and then that should show it. Another way you can do it is just to go uh, into your search and then just uh, search for mst.sav. Put that into C drive first. mst.sav. And then eventually it'll uh, it'll find it once it searches through the whole C drive. But it's going to find a whole bunch of files because I have a whole bunch of save files. All right, as you can see, I got a whole bunch of search files. Um, but you should only have like one or very few. And you're going to look for pretty much the same path that uh, I described for the other one. And... When you have it, you could just uh, go to uh, open file location, and then you can get your shortcut that way if you want. So once you have the shortcut or an easy way to get to this this folder, I made another folder on my desktop, or put it wherever you want with Miss Save Games, and then I got it labeled uh, with all the different saves. Now I'll take the save. And then I will copy the save. So I'll take this save and I will drag it over to this is the cabins. That's uh I'm gonna make a new folder for this. And then I'm gonna drag it just straight from here if I want to put it a different save. And then the one I want to use, I will, like say I want to use my uh, backpack lo locations, all loot games. I'll take this and I'll copy it. And then I'll paste it in here. I'm not sure if you need to do it all, but I go ahead and just copy everything in there and then paste it over. I haven't had no problems doing that. I'm not sure if you just need a certain one or, or what it is. I'm not a computer guy, but this is what I figured out so far. All right, and then I can go into the game. I hit play. And then hit continue. And this will be uh, where I found all the backpacks, where I made that backpack video. So I shouldn't have no no backpack spaces open on this this save, hopefully. Unless I saved over it or something. Alright, yep, this is it. This is the one where I found all the loot in the game and uh, picked up most, or if not all, the lockers and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and quit out of here. If I'm going to change saves, I'm going to go back to the desktop. 
and then I want a different one. I don't need this because I didn't do anything in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. And then say I want the cabins near city. I'll put that in there. If you drag and drop it over, you'll lose it out of your original folder. So I like to copy it and just paste it. That way I don't mess it up because I have lost the save by dragging and dropping. And then forgetting that I already, that I needed to save it again. So just be careful when you're doing this. And I'm going to continue it. All right. And this is my cabin in the woods uh, save. Let's go over, let's actually go to the cabin so I can actually make sure this is the right one. All right, so there's my cabin in the woods. And my little area over there. I'm just gonna go ahead and save it here. Once it's done, I'm gonna quit out. And then I'm going to take uh, the saved games and I'm going to go ahead and just delete this for now and drag that over there. So now I'm actually in the cabins. And then if I want to go to a different one, um, go to like the vegan challenge. And when was this? 2-8? I didn't label that one. This is 13 February, but that copy and paste it, not actually put it in there. And this will be the last part of my vegan challenge that I did. All right, so see, it's a different area. And that's the one where I have my crops back there. So this is how I move my saves and am able to actually play on different different playthroughs and not really worry about losing so much progress. But just be careful when you're actually moving the things so that you don't actually uh, delete something or mess up. Because I did lose my, my playthrough where I had this big huge farm right over here that 600 plant cornfield so just be careful how you're messing around with your saves and I um, hope this helps so you can try different things and uh, play the game a different way and whatever you really want to do but thanks for watching and I'll catch y'all later